Good morning. Welcome to About Time. I'm Quran About Dot Time CK. Make sure you follow. Um, and I'm here with our friend Christopher, who's on mute, and he won't realize till I tell him to unmute himself. Hi, Chris. Are you gonna Hello. unmute yourself? <laughs> Good morning, Chris. How are you? I'm doing well. Have you Good had morning. your cup of coffee yet? Yes, just finished it. Just finished it. Yeah. Would you like a monster or a Red Bull? No, I don't. All right. Anyway, Chris, uh, before we start the show, let's do our um, wrist check. What watch are you wearing today? I've got my Seamaster. So it's kind of the only watch I brought. Nice, 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 nice. And I have my new watch that I got yesterday. Sorry about the background, guys, but um, I've got my. Frederic Constant, perpetual calendar that I was gifted from them yesterday, or oh, the day before, rather. Roger was around, and um, he gave it to me. I really love the watch. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's right here, if you guys can see. It's actually better. You can only see the dial, yeah. which is amazing. <laughs> anyway, so before we start today, I um, want to say hi to the people that have joined the chat. Thank you, Kim, for being first. Um, Wolfgang today made it second. Oil Money and Wilson are here too. Mike Finlow's here. <laughs> so that's good. Um, anyway, Chris, you want to take it on? What are we doing today? Yeah, so today we're just going through our six picks. Um, and you guys can vote on who had a better choice. So Karan and I will each choose uh, one of our favorites and then we'll let you guys decide. Interesting. All right. So I don't have them in order all the same. So you want to start with the first one? Yeah, there's no order or anything. Just, you know, picking what we liked. So Correct. I can start. Yeah. Let's uh, choose your first watch. What you picked? I'm pulling it up. Okay. So the first piece mm -hmm. is the Oris Titanium. The Pro Pilot X. Uh, I thought it was really cool, and I like that they're bringing their new movement into more, more of their collection. So I think it's a pretty good wearable piece. You know, it's not too big or anything, um, and it's in titanium, which is pretty popular now. So I think it's a pretty good looking piece. There was a pink dial that I didn't really like, um, just the color, but overall, I like the aesthetic of this this watch. So. Nice, nice. Uh, it's a nice looking watch. Very basic. What? Uh, how much? Do you, how much do you think it is? Or uh, yeah, so I couldn't find a price, but I think it'll be about three, probably about the same as their Aquas line. So about three thousand, three to four. Very nice, nice looking. So I went uh, to the complete other end. So if you want to take that out, I can uh, share my screen. I my first watch that I chose, which I really liked, was <laughs> the Chronomaster Sport. Like, ooh, yeah, yeah. really yeah. love the watch in gold, beautiful mm -hmm. piece. Uh, nothing that you guys haven't seen before, but um, in all rose gold, I again, again, like. The rose gold with the black dial. Fell in love with it. Um, so you're going black dial again? Again, black dial. Yeah. Nice. So, you know, it's funny. They released the two-tone version as well. Oh, yeah. And um, the steel and gold version, I like. Of, of course, it's only in the white dial. But um, the rose, rose gold with the black dial, totally love. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was uh, my choice, my first choice. So back to you, Chris. What do you think of this watch though? I, I love it, yeah. I think it's just like a natural progression for the collection, you know. 
it, it wasn't anything surprising, but definitely something that uh, I think a lot of people really were asking for. Um, and, you know, it's their take on that aesthetic that's popular with the Rolex. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't even mind that it's a very similar look. It's just, um, you know, it gives you options. And if you like the movement, if you like Zenith a little more, then, you know, you have something you can get. So would that be I, something you would wear? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I would totally. <laughs> I'm very into gold. You'd probably wear it with rainbow diamonds, wouldn't you? Yeah. So I. Rather. That's you know it goes, <laughs> it goes panda Daytona, then gold Daytona, and then rainbow Daytona. <laughs> All right. So let's go with your second pick, Chris. Guys in the chat, if you want to uh, leave your comments on which ones you like better. Ah, you mirrored my screen, did you? I did. So uh, I, I saw the background and I was like, might as well go with my uh, pick. Um, I'm quite a Paddock fan, so I definitely like um, this new release. It's my two favorite complications from their range. Um, so I... You know, I really love their annual calendar, just the layout, um, I like how it's in apertures. And the travel time is one of the easiest, uh, most useful um, travel time complications. You know, the, the, the Rolex, you have to kind of use the crown a lot, but this is just super easy. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a combination of all my favorite paddocks. And then uh, with the addition, I like the retro-ish kind of aesthetic that it that they have going um and it's different it's not just like a nautilus or aquanaut kind of um reiteration so right i like, right. I like what they're doing well uh, this is a good uh definitely a good choice as uh, of course almost all of you know that i had to have chosen that piece also so <laughs> that's that kind of why i wanted i was i was worried you were gonna pick it first so <laughs> <laughs> no it's okay i'll let you chivalry is not dead so i'll let you go first always uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, obviously i've picked the same piece as well uh chris and i have not decided uh, on this before uh, it was all random we were picking and i'm pretty sure that uh, we won't have the same choices after this but yes this is Nothing but a home run. Yeah, that this is style is gorgeous. Of course, it'll be even better looking, right? Than, you know, person. It looks almost like that tarmac Dell. You know, it's gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. I, it's. I, I think this was one of my favorites of the whole show. Um, it's just something like not quite expected from Paddock, you know, but um, something that's like it fits very well into their collection. It's not completely out of nowhere so i um i i'm i'm guessing it will come out in probably a rose gold but big possibility all right yeah. so let's remove this and uh let's see the chat I'll let you go. Let's, yeah no it's all right i'll go uh yeah i know it's all right chris just yeah. because i said chivalry's not dead <laughs> <laughs> to i'll let that. you go first so hey bobby welcome hey doc uh guys design it to the air Good to see you guys. Make sure you guys like um, uh, the video today. Um, of course, Wilson says you win this one, basically. So he's uh, saying that it's a tie. All right. So you want me to go first, right? Yes. All uh, right. So um, no surprise here. Um, I went with um, another paddock, but I didn't save it. So... Uh, uh oh, I did not save the. Oh yeah, I did. So one of my favorite watches back in the day was um, a world timer, and I am so glad they brought this piece back in white gold with an enamel dial. I hope you yeah. can see. Yeah, gorgeous, lovely. Uh, and uh, I really don't have words. Uh, this is, um, again, a piece they've done before in a different mm -hmm. material, but I love the enamel dial. Yeah, uh, their enamel work is amazing. 
it is. It's amazing. And, you know, just. Can magic. you choose like the region that's shown? Well, this one's a special region. So it's part oh, of Asia okay. as well. So that's oh, one right. of the reasons. But yeah, um, that's my pick, buddy. <laughs> yeah, they, I think Paddock really was so good this year. Yeah. They're always good. Usually, yeah. I feel like some years they just do a lot of reiterations, but this year I like the new movement and the um, definitely the new <laughs> versions of that. Because mm -hmm. we like things down under, mate. <laughs> Oil money. <laughs> I'll put something right. a little different. All right. The JJ. The JJ. I thought this was a really cool looking piece. Um, just that that look of the blue dial with the rose gold case is just really cool. Um, you know, like so a little bit like a Vacheron um, has that kind of uh, gold and blue. So I just think it's really, um, really like not too blingy, but like still quite a, you know, quite a good looking piece. So it might be a little bit big for me, but I, I still, I think I would still wear it. And I like the compressor. compressor right. style. Okay. Solid watch. Great looking watch. Yes. I would take it that it would be slightly on the larger side for you. Yeah. But um, yet again, you know, nothing wrong watch. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong at all. Yeah. Uh, so that was one. Uh, all right, let's let's you go with the next one again. Go ahead. All right. Should I remove your screen? No. Okay. No. There you go. So I pick in something a little more fun. Mm hmm the oh my god day date <laughs> i picked the same watch too at <laughs> the 40 millimeter day date i didn't think you would pick this but i, I did think... actually it was my next watch <laughs> that is such a cool watch so it's understandable yeah i mean haters can hate guys if you guys no. know my watch i'm glad <laughs> it's so cool. watches for um everybody else i love this piece also i picked it I mean, literally, it's on my screen. Yeah, I can. Uh, I, that was my next watch. I was gonna put up here. <laughs> okay, good. I, I'm glad I'm getting these in first. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> get my sloppy seconds. <laughs> literally, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't see my phone, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I picked it up. Love yeah, it. I watch. think it's just such an awesome piece. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be talking about the left hand and the um, some of the yacht masters, but I, I think this is probably not going to be as hyped up. But I think this is just awesome. Yeah, so if you can get it, it's, you know, it's got a lot of hate about on the chats and uh, everywhere else. Why is it on a fluted bezel? Oh, that that. <laughs> yeah, I am sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, I prefer it on the fluted bezel. Yeah, I do too. Remember, guys, platinum can dent, uh, not scratch. So you won't see right. a dent on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you you want you want to treat this a little more carefully, but yeah, what what is this going to be priced at? Do you think? Like I don't 70, know, 70 probably ish? 70, 80. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> We're wearing a nice blue platinum piece. It's and soft. I think you could get this kind of early just get it in it's gorgeous it's a great yeah. size i can't wait to feel it because you know i've always oh my gosh. Yeah. Daytona. yeah um it's one of my uh pieces that i want in my collection that's gonna and, weigh uh, like a pound <laughs> yep yeah definitely not yes for and um i agree uh mm -hmm. i agree yeah just <laughs> you really want to just ball out just go yeah. for this <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's a good watch. All right, so that saves me one more uh, share. So, uh, guys, um, I know I, I noticed you guys saying that you prefer it on a smooth bezel, 
Uh, Bobby Legs agreed. Um, anybody else? Uh, you might as well go all out and just go in the fluted. Is that? Mike, calm down. You got to watch. <laughs> You'll get he... one eventually. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> what else? What all else? Right, do you I'll have? go again then. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> all right. So we kind of eliminating a few pieces, but um, I'll go with one that you definitely didn't pick then. All right. I like the Chopard releases. Um, they had a couple of minute repeaters. Chopard releases? What? You mean the LUC? Yeah, the LUC. The okay. Chopard LUC line. So, they, I mean, they had the Torbion one with the minute repeater, but it looked kind of awkward, I thought. Um, I think this is a little bit more a little bit cleaner of a design, um, you know, and they, you can see just a little bit of the minute repeater, but you can still see it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad someone picked up on that. <laughs> so, this one, you don't need to get it in early. You can just uh, get it when you want it. So just ask for it nicely and they'll, they'll give it up. So I think this is pretty a pretty good looking piece. You know, I like the the finishing that type of uh, guilloche look. So mm. and I like Chopard's designs. Uh, at least they're more um, traditional and classic looking pieces. Uh, the finishing's just really cool, though. So. Right. Um, you know, um, not a fan at all, personally. Uh, but again, it's not for everybody. Um, before I show, I show you my next choice, um, my next choice is not a watch uh, though, but um, uh, Design Atelier asked about the Cartier Mystery Rotor. Um, personally, it would bother me tremendously, something spinning, you know, initially I thought it was like a manual wound watch and it was, when they pictured it, it was half a movement and I was wondering why it's a, my it's a mystery at that point, but it just looks like two, um, <laughs> to <clears throat> sapphire crystals pressed like a happy sport and something spinning around, you know? <laughs> That's what I think. Well, my next um, choice is actually not a watch. It is the Atmos High cool. Mechanica Caliber Knight, finally. It is, I love it. I loved this, um, you know, whole thing. All right, that was my uh, choice. Um, Love it. I would love to have something like this on my desk or at home somewhere um, or even on a huge watch winding case. Just keep <laughs> it on top. It looked gorgeous. I didn't like anything else from Gerger this year with their watches, so I chose the Atmos clock. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Do you like it? Yeah, I like all all the atmoses pretty much. Yeah, I just like that collection anyway. But that's just uh, you know a cool new version of it. Definitely, yeah, I definitely would like an Atmos clock at some point. They don't, they're not like crazy expensive too. I feel like for what they are, uh, they're expensive. <laughs> I mean, all 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 watches and luxury things are, but. I mean, like if you you can get like an older one or a pre-owned one, they don't. I don't think they like go for that much. Oh, I forgot to mention. I don't know if you guys ever received this Revolution magazine. Uh, sorry, uh, it's the green screen that's playing. But um, I don't know if you guys noticed. It came about two weeks ago, and somebody made a boo boo and advertised the. the oh. It's the Titanium Odysseus two weeks before the release. <laughs> Let everybody know if you guys 
didn't. What did you think of that? Um, all right. It's all right. Just like a pretty expected version of it. I think this is uh, something like, of course, it's going to be extremely hard to get, of course. But this <laughs> is like uh, going after FB Join. Oh, right. You no. know, in a big way, I personally mm -hmm. feel. <clears throat> so I'll go. Uh, yes, my sir. next is something a little more in the range of what I would get. Um, I really like the new tutors. Um, I think this would be something a little bit more of what I would get than the, the pro. Keep going, keep going. I'm coming back. Yeah. So I, I personally, I like the this model on the strap a little bit. Um, I think just with the way Tudor does their gold, it's, um, I think it's a little bit better when it's not just gold capped and the leather um, doesn't really emphasize that fact as much. So I definitely like this, but I always go for the watch on the bracelet first. But um, And if they were able to make it a little bit thinner, I think then the red and blue, I'm not sure if you guys know, but um, I think it's a tiny bit thinner. But uh, yeah, so that was my one of my issues with the red and blue. But I think um, if this is a little bit thinner, I think it would be a really good choice. Um, do you know if this is going to be a little bit slimmer than the red and blue? Say that again, Chris. Uh, for the case size, do you think it's a little bit slimmer than the red and blue um, the same? no 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 it isn't uh you want to take the screen down yeah yeah what you saying now oh <laughs> there you go yeah. yeah yeah that looks really nice there's the case okay yeah yeah it's it's a little better no, it's beautiful. I actually initially uh, liked the Black Bay Pro. Mm -hmm. I have the Black Bay Pro, which is sold to someone. It's going to be shipped out on Monday. But um, to be, I, I didn't read it correctly. I didn't realize that the Black Bay Pro uh, has a um, fixed bezel. Fixed, yeah. Yeah. And David uh, was telling me yesterday that there was a lot of uh, people talking about the model holding the black bay pro and holding it like they're going to turn the bezel so, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but I you know what i'm very impressed with the steel and gold and the steel and gold bracelet also because this watch actually has some weight to it yeah, uh, yeah. it's good looking i have it on the strap as well but, oh do you have a uh, yeah i like i kind of was saying that i like the leather strap a little bit uh, yeah, more, but I would so still Chris, get it. Uh, since you're a partner of the channel and the initial yeah. uh, uh, person that started it with me, you should have watched the show yesterday because you would have seen all three watches. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Let point. me go with my next choice. Uh, since you shared a tutor, I did not choose that. I went with. That would be the last one, right? Wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's the last. I went with something that I'll get a lot of hate for, but I went I, with Freak X Aventrine. Oh, I was going to pick that. <laughs> yeah. I've had the opportunity of seeing this piece. Yeah. It the looks style cool. is actually, it doesn't do justice mm -hmm. on, um, on photo. You know? Yeah. So I like this piece. I think it's pretty cool. Super expensive, but uh, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's going to be pretty expensive. Um, it's it's on a titanium gold kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's some, like, I mean, beautiful. Let's see if I can uh, find you some pictures, some better pictures of the dial. There you go. You see it? Yep. Yeah. It's really, really cool. Um, great dial. Yeah, that was my choice, my friend. Yeah. 
Very nice. Oh. Yeah, some great choices there. Uh, I think I liked all all those pieces for sure. Um, I think the Tudor would be the most realistic one, uh, but the Paddock as well. I love, definitely love that. Mm -hmm. I think that was probably my favorite of all, all the pieces. Um, I'm definitely a little biased, but the Paddock and then probably second would be the Rolex. So, yeah. Yeah, actually, I think, most of the paddocks I, I liked uh, that were released. Of yeah, course. the three hand's cool, but you don't want to settle for a three hand. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> You'd never want to settle for a three hand when it comes to paddock. But you know what I actually liked a lot? I mean, again, a piece that's been done before. It's a Quartz Ladies 24, but that green looked very nice on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that green. Um, I didn't get to any of the ladies pieces but the new rolex with the the date just with that dial is i think pretty good looking yeah um yeah i don't it's, it's like great. flowers or something but yeah it's a really cool dial and i think it's you know it's not one of those like ops or something that it's going to be talked about too much but i think for a lady that you know wants something different i think it's right. an awesome option for sure. Right. No, I agree. Uh, Wolfgang, I, I need to confirm the price. The last time I checked, it's on request. So uh, we'll check on that one. Kim the says, uh, you went around um, again. That's nice. It's <laughs> glad to see Kim likes snowflake hands. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's his next watch. I'm selling him. <laughs> um, hey, that's, that's a good piece. Yeah, we spoke about the Zenith releases. Um, I mean, at least the Chronomaster Sport in all rose gold. Um, Chris, what did you think? We have a few minutes here. What did you think about uh, the new releases with the open? Uh... Oh, I like those. Um, I like the idea of them. The open is a little uh, weird for me, just with like that placement of the open uh, skeleton, but. Um, I think with that new movement, it'd be really cool. Just that thing's going to go crazy. I know it probably would give you a headache, but. <laughs> I like the way Wilson worded that. He has gotten better. He's not using the word hat anymore. <laughs> yeah. Is he banned? <laughs> He's not bad. He's tried to acquire a lot more hats from me. I told him if he doesn't use that word, he's going to get some more hats. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, well, um, I didn't like the case uh, on the Chronomaster Open. Oh, really? Is it yeah. like this, this weird combination of sportiness and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I wasn't... Guys, really just so it. you know... Uh, the, bit, the work has begun. If you haven't seen uh, the temporary spaces of our store um, here, this is all temporary, but uh, your Stag Hoyer's temporary spot. Now the back walls are up. Grand Seiko, of course, you did see Bulgari last time. And Breguet is officially there. Still needs some work to be done in the windows right there, but yep, we we're coming together, and hopefully we'll see you guys soon when we open downstairs and do our opening as well. No dates as yet, as yet, as yet but yeah. yeah. Let's see. Yes, you do, Detroit Spartan. Since I've already got the rose golds and the chronomaster spot coming, I'll go with Paddock as best piece today. That piece is pretty damn cool. It sure yeah. is. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> no, the volleyball is not in the Breguet case. All right. Um, perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, the Chronomaster um, open. Not for me. I was hoping um, they'd release some more pieces um, and show everybody what they have coming, but they haven't. Some have been leaked. We know. Yeah. So, yeah, what else did you like, Chris, besides, I mean, I know we've not chosen anything, but did you like any other brands you were thinking on choosing? Yeah. Um, I Oh, I will go through worst piece of the show, which... Okay. Yeah, go ahead. That. I think we can all 
expect. Uh, we all know what I'm going to pull up. So mm -hmm. try mm -hmm. try not to. Guys, you can also press press the dislike button if you'd like. Yeah, definitely <laughs> hit, hit the down button. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a clear-cut favorite. Um, definitely wins the Razzie for uh, worst watch of the year. <laughs> uh, I just can't see even by Hugh Blow standards, I can't see who would wear these. Yeah. Maybe like a giant 16 year old. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were not attractive at all. Uh I mean I like Hugh Blow, like the idea of what they do with sapphire and um ceramics, but mm -hmm. Just the color and the size and the shape and the strap and the design it just doesn't work. But I mean, <laughs> it, the, I think this is as bad as Paddock's was good, but maybe even worse. <laughs> Beats any RM. Um, I don't All right, know. I'm going to remove that because that was hurting my eyes. That was painful. Do you have uh, one that you liked? That I didn't like? Or, yeah, that you didn't like. Sorry, that stood out. Actually, it was the Hublots as well. Um, yeah, I, I, it was atrocious. Not a very good uh, <laughs> looking um, timepiece. You know, but sometimes you never know that blue might look nice on a lady. So you never know. Yeah, that's true. But what is that? Probably like 45. <laughs> so. I don't, yeah. Yeah. So uh, David said outrageous. Oh, where did I see that? He really likes the Parmigiani uh, Tonda. Rat I did like TV. that. I'll, I'll pull it up. Yeah. Um, you know, great complication. Too plain a dial for me, but uh, great, great complication. Uh, uh, well, very yeah, I love that. Yeah. I believe you can hide the G you can reveal the GMT hand whenever you want, and you can hide it. It's really cool. Which, uh, uh, no, what did he say? Yeah, Kim. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow's show at uh, I think it's uh, five or six p.m. Uh, Vegas time. Uh, we will be uh, talking a little bit about the Omega Speedies and some more collaborations. What we would like to see, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, tomorrow's show in, in the evening. Nick, Arthur, and I are going to be there, and we've mocked up some designs where it would be interesting. That's not the one, though. Oh, the red one? No, that uh, the Rathrapant. Um, oh, the, okay. Yeah. No, it's not that one, Chris. No, if you go to Watches and Wonders website and you go to Parmesan, you'll see it. Yeah. There it is, the first one. The first, yeah, there. This one? Go down, no, go down, no. No. <laughs> Uh, the Rathrapant. There you go. You just missed it. Oh, oh there you go. yeah. That's yeah, that's it. when I clicked. So click, click on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Yeah, that is a cool complication. Yeah, that's a cool video. Uh, you know, initially when David said Rathrapant, I was thinking a chronograph also, and um, there's a lovely video where it, it actually explains how. Um, it works beautiful, but um, you know, yeah, it's plain a dial for me. Like a, it, it was a little plain. That's yeah, it reminds me of a smartwatch at this point, and then waiting for a message to show up on the dial. That's how plain the dial is. Like yeah, this. that's kind of why I would have picked the chronograph um, calendar. Mm -hmm. uh, that, Thought it was a little bit more going on. I just didn't love the colors of the chronographs this year, but um, I like the overall aesthetic of that piece. Um, and their, I mean, their finishing is really nice. So I've, I've always been a fan of his, just the brand in general. But right, um, going back to their, back when they did the Bugatti watch and crazy stuff like that. But I think yeah. they, they've gotten a little more mainstream so i think mm -hmm. a lot of people will like these 
Um, and dual times too, I think uh, one of my favorite complications. <laughs> yeah, so that I'm watching it live also. Don't worry, <laughs> I got it on here. <laughs> oh, Kim says hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, David. You can like it. I don't have to like it. <laughs> anyway, um, once again, this was nice. Uh, thanks, Chris, uh, for doing this. Um, we'll take this off today. But um, guys, tomorrow, um, log in. I'll put put the link uh, and I'll send it to everybody. I'm not sure about the time. It always depends on my other co-hosts. So, um, yeah, we'll send you the link right. and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. That was a good show. Hope you guys buy all the new pieces. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. Right. <laughs> uh, don't forget, tell all your little friends to like and subscribe. And remember to watch the shows, too. We need you to watch very carefully all right all chris it's time to say bye chris bye <laughs> take care <laughs> right, just try to get those hours <laughs> all right See. cool bye <laughs>